Now, how are South Africans protected from being sexually harassed in the workplace? The, the legislation which exists protects an employee in the workplace, but there's also civil and criminal litigation. What I will address first is the remedies that are available through the employer. And every employer who has a number of employees should consider having a sexual harassment policy in place. The reason being is that, that if, you are sec if there is sexual harassment in the workplace, an employer may well find themselves on the back end of civil litigation or a complaint for failing to protect the employee within the workplace. So there's a duty there, a duty on the employer to protect the employee from sexual harassment. So what the employer should do to protect itself and its employees is constitute a policy. And in that policy, it should define how a complaint is made, to whom it is made, a, a safe environment where the complaint remains confidential, and also the integrity of the complainant, the victim in the case, and the harasser until such time as the complaint is dealt with are protected. If the matter cannot be resolved through this process, the victim, the harassed person, can consider them lodging agreements, which is a formal process which compels the employer then to call the harasser in and to try and investigate the claim more thoroughly with disciplinary repercussions for the harasser, which is in fact what happened in the University of Cape Town matter where a complaint was made and an investigation was instigated by the university, which led to a disciplinary hearing. And it's a review of that disciplinary hearing which was ultimately dismissed by the Labour Court and which was reported on. The Protection Against Harassment Act, however, takes the protections to which a victim is entitled to one step further. And the victim can now bring an application without notice to the harasser. In other words, without letting them know that they are approaching a court, in this case a magistrate's court, for an order which effectively is a restraining order preventing the harasser or any other interested person um, or any other person such as the employer for instance who may have an interest in the outcome of the of the application from making the environment uh, such that the harassment can continue and preventing the the harasser from coming near the, the person who feels victimized so that has direct implication and repercussions to the employer it is interesting that the Act also makes provision for an interested person to bring the application. So, in fact, an employer could, with consent of the employee, bring the application itself.